Hey, good morning, everybody. So a little late to the party on this one, but I'm going to be uh, talking about peach and cognac from the Shaving Shop Club. Uh, this is in Kaizen, as you can see right there. Um, yeah, this is pretty awesome. So, uh, you know, a lot of people talk about the scent, how it's very sweet uh, for me. I don't find it like super super sweet um that's just me personally i think i i probably like scents that are on the sweeter side though but um also the scent off the tub is very different from the scent when lathered um it it really kind of uh you know gets more complex and evolves a bit more so um yeah uh if you don't you know if you don't like it off the tub you may not like it when lathered um you know it doesn't change that much it doesn't really lose the sweetness it just gains a little bit more so uh yeah just keep that in mind like really if you don't like like peach or I, i'm not a huge fan of peach i really do like this scent though um i guess i've never really smelled the peach scent but uh yeah it's very nice uh brush for today gonna be going with my lutein and uh i've learned with kaizen maybe want a uh slightly damper brush in order to not load quite as uh, dry. The way I kind of think about this base is um, at least loading and lathering is a uh, barrister and man reserve on steroids. I think I'll call that good. So I use a very um, kind of wetter load style. And you can uh, use more of a, you know, just a, a drier style, like just a damp brush. Um, I noticed that the, the brush does get just extremely, extremely pacey that way though. And um, you have to add in tons of water, like tons of water. So it is quite a thirsty soap, but honestly, this is like shapeable right here. Yeah, I don't know all the notes, but uh, yeah, when you start lathering it up, it kind of gains a little bit of a more booziness from that cognac and then some spice. Yeah, and I still need more water. <laughs> yeah, I almost thought I wasn't gonna get enough soap with that uh, wet style short load, but if anything, it still seems like I picked up too much. 
Um, so the soap is on the softer side. Um, not a crop, but more like a uh, like a bison tallow from Declaration. Um, so very easy to indent your fingers. Wow, this is just, this is gonna get messy. But uh, I did shave with pretty much this exact same setup and then I switched razors for the Technique Tuesday video. Um, the reason I do that is just because like, I feel like, wow, I can't get to that. <laughs> At least not with the same hand. Um, yeah, the reason I switched razors is because for those Technique Tuesday videos, I kind of rather um, demonstrate them with, you know, something that I guess is a little bit more relatable to uh, everyone else, if that makes sense. Yeah, this stuff is just so, so thick. Can still add just tons of water to it though. Like, I would definitely be interested to see someone try to break this stuff. But, yeah, I'm gonna have to rinse my razor pretty often because this this lather is just so hydrated and thick that it's gonna just run off. I just got lather all over the place. Um, I do want to give just a quick disclaimer. Um, it does tingle my lips a little bit. Um, you know definitely no deal breaker but uh if you have skin that you know is sensitive to scent oils then maybe just you know um be wary of that like my my face doesn't tingle but just my lip does i don't know if it's you know something to do with the skin on the lips i feel like it's a little you know, more sensitive than the rest of your face. So, yeah, nothing crazy. Nothing like super uncomfortable, just a little tingly, I guess. Yeah, just gotta make sure you are <laughs> very dry any amount of moisture will really make your hands slippery so razor for today gonna be going with the 9 8 max brecker i don't even know if that's really a spanish it's kind of a spanish but it's more of just like a, a spike it's like i said in my uh 54321 it's a inspired um toe I can't remember the exact name of the weight and butcher it's inspired by, but um, yeah, it's a, it's pretty much a, a lost design. Um, I've only seen like a couple of the razors on the market and they are in terrible, terrible shape. Um, so. But yeah, so 9 8 near wedge, uh, white ribbon and wabi. These things are gorgeous. This lighting is not doing these things justice. Let me see if I can get a, there we go. That's a little bit more of a uh, realistic view on them. But yeah. And I got this blemish right here, so if that bleeds, whatever. Oh, there it is already. I knew that was just gonna.
fall off. I didn't think it would fall off that early though. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I I'm probably not going to do the J hook on the bottom end of my neck right there. Um, it doesn't get irritated from the shave, but I notice, especially since it's uh, warmer out here, my skin reacts very, very poorly to heat. So, um, yeah, because of that, Shaving that area to complete BBS always just brings me irritation later in the day because the heat just irritates it. So, yeah, I, I have done it before. Um, and if it wasn't hot, maybe I could keep doing it. But because of the weather that I have, I need to just kind of go for DFS in that area. And you know, that's fine with me. Um, it's mostly like just the uh, like upper face area that I'm looking for BBS and on my neck if it's you know, at least just decent, then that's all I want, so. Yeah. Man, this stuff is. <laughs> I really cannot praise Kaizen enough for its uh, performance. I mean, just look at that. <laughs> is getting like a hydrated slick lather goes um, this stuff can't be beat does it take a little bit more time than something like uh, Kairos or even like Excelsior um, I consider Excelsior to be also a non thirsty soap um, yeah it does take a little bit longer but you know Lathering is like half the fun. Do you want to just give a quick shout out to uh, Marion the Barbarian? Uh, he's a new guy. Uh, straight razor shaves, CE shaves. Um, he, he does something like a little bit similar to my index finger where he uses his thumb. Uh, he kind of says it's like a, a, a chef's knife grip. And uh, I thought that was pretty cool, you know? Um, kind of a, a different style of doing what I, what I try to do, uh, which is, you know, like have your, have a finger farther up on the blade in order to gain a little bit more control, but uh, in a different way. So yeah, check him out. You know, maybe you can try that technique out too if you don't like having your index finger so far up the spine. Um, you know, it's all individual preference and what works for you. Uh, you know, if you if you like holding a blade like like this, uh, to me this is super unstable. Um, but you know, if you get great shapes holding a blade like that, then by all means, like keep doing what you're doing, you know, there are no rules, it's just do what works for you, so, yeah, Marion the Barbarian, also the, uh, the student shaver, Stanley, DE guy, he needs to come over and try some straights out, but, <laughs>
just think it's really cool to see more people uh, trying straight razors out. They are definitely uh, slightly more of a challenge than the DE, but I think it's, you know, it is personal preference still, but I just get more of a uh, comfortable shave from it, I guess. Look. Yeah, even still my hand is slipping a little right there. But yeah, my skin just tends to do a little bit better with the straight razors. <clears throat> That's just me. I'm just gonna rinse off my hand a little bit. Getting kinda ridiculous. And I'm just going to add a little bit more water because I can. <laughs> yeah, so, so insanely slick. Mounds are still, <clears throat> still slick. <laughs> So, uh, like I said in the previous videos, uh, gyms reopened on uh, Friday. Super, super stoked. First day back was 
pretty awful. <laughs> I'm a little, uh, I'm a little upset about where my numbers are. But, uh, you know, everything's starting to, well, at least the bench press is. The squat, I'll see today. I, I really think my squat is going to be the slowest thing to come back. I think, like, biomechanically, um, I'm just a... Uh, a better bencher and deadlifter, so. Yeah, I think my leverages just work a little bit better for deadlifting, and when it comes to bench press, like, I have short humeruses. Um, I have, like, kind of a, a thicker sternum. Um, broader shoulders so my biomechanics just kind of lend more to, to benching like that's definitely if I had to say um, what my best lift is it's probably bench press um, and yeah I don't know I guess my my leverages just don't really work for squats too well um, you know some people have really good deadlifting leverages, like they have uh, longer arms, and so that helps them be more upright. So. Yeah, maybe I have like slightly longer femurs or something, which is why I don't squat as well. Um, you know, I haven't really studied biomechanics too much, so I'm very out of practice too. Yeah, you know, everybody has their strengths and weaknesses. Um, you know, I, I don't mean to sound like, like, you know, oh, I'm a super good bencher. Like, that's not true. Um, <clears throat> it's just the lift that, for my body, I'm better at, I guess. Um, you know, this is a shaving channel, not a workout channel, so you guys probably don't even care. But, um, yeah. So my bench is coming back I'll see about squats uh, today my deadlift was pretty good um, so yeah like I said let's see but I have a feeling squats are gonna be my um, my biggest struggle coming back to the gym uh, yeah going with the matching splash of course uh, yeah, so luckily I didn't open up that blemish right there. Beautiful shave. Uh, Kaizen was still running off my razor, even though I had it, you know, like pretty, uh, pretty watered down, pretty hydrated. Uh, normally when you kind of get to like the third and second and third pass, um, it kind of tends to not run off the razor so much because it is on the thinner side, but that stuff is just so dense and uh, get so well hydrated that it'll still just run off anyway. <laughs> so, super impressive. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, I get a little bit less of the f uh, the peach from the splash and a little bit more of like the boozy um, spiciness, which is just beautiful. So off the uh, off the soap, like even once lathered, I'd say like the the fruit to like other note mix is maybe 70 30. Like it's a little bit more fruity, 70% um, fruity, 30% other stuff. So it still is a, you know, noticeable amount, but um, it, it is definitely more peach forward. The splash, however, I would say is more like 60, 40 between peach and other notes. So um, yeah, I like the splash a little bit more, but I mean, don't get me wrong. I do like the scent on the soap. And the uh, performance is like, you know, kind of stupid. I would say Kaizen is my number one base right now. Like, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Kairos is a, a very, very close, close, close second, you know, almost like to the point of a tie. But um, yeah, the performance on Kaizen is just kind of ridiculous. So anyway, that's going to be it for me. Uh, thank you guys for coming and watching. And uh, I hope to catch you in the next one. See ya.